Hello, everybody. Welcome to Night Games. We are playing Dream Daddy. So I am Kay. With me, I have... Leon Scorpius. Super B. And me, the Tay. It was me, Tay, all along. <laughs> I was here the Tay. whole time. I just right. didn't do the intro. <laughs> All right, so we just had our date with Robert, and we uh, I'm the only one that's not she feeling didn't, Robert. She didn't so. enjoy our date with Robert. I, it just, it he pulls up a lot of red flags for me, so yeah. I don't know. I, I think to balance it out, we need some good old wholesome Matt dates. I think we do need another, a second date with Matt. So we do have one star each with Matt, Craig, and Robert, the top three contenders. You mean one heart? Uh, one heart each, yes. 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 Um, so that means we have about two more dates with each person. And and yeah, I think that there's a lot of Robert versus Matt right now conversation in the last episode. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do it. And uh, I think the best way to do that is a back-to-back -back date. See so, what it's like. So Tay, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Tay is trying to figure out how to make a star with his fingers because you can make the hearts with the fingers. Yeah, it was a heart. Star. And then Tay is like, oh, yeah. trying to mutate his fingers into I, something there, that looks like a star. I swear like I've star. seen there's a way to I, do it. I just don't know yeah. how to do it. My fingers and aren't coordinated enough. And you are too drunk enough. to do it. I'm not that drunk. Okay, then you need to drink more. I guess I do. Well, I All just right. drink a bunch. It hasn't hit me yet. All right. So we're going to go for Matt. It's time for Matt date number two. It's All been a right. while since we've seen Matt. What can what can you tell us about Matt, Kay? Um, he is adorable. And his daughter made him a flower crown. And his daughter is also pretty adorable. And, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Instead of messaging Matt, why don't I walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling a little sluggish today anyways. Yep. Amanda! She sticks her head out of the room. Father! <laughs> Wanna go out to the coffee spoon? Oh, so you get called cool once and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at coffee shops and listens to Neo Jazz and stuff? Amanda? Are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Look honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Let me grab my laptop and my leather bound journal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah him. Guy. Amanda yeah. and I make a short okay. walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging in reading books in a cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar pierced face. Hey, you were the dude I yelled at a bunch the other night. <laughs> yeah. a sideways that's, that's, yeah. He tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? This is my daughter, Amanda, the person I am a father to and I'm very protective of. <laughs> An honor to make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? I wouldn't call witch house music, but okay. A piercing blow to my ego, though not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. <laughs> yep. My name, oh, Dad, yeah. single senses tingle. I am overwhelmed with fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. She's good. Oh. Oh, defend witch house would be a good way to like, oh. Um, uh, the appropriate uh, yeah. lanes from Taken. <laughs> which, no, we let's can't not. defend witch house, it just changed the subject, I think. All right. Anyways, Pablo, I didn't know you worked here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Today's my first day. Matt's still training me. <laughs> Joe. Matt comes out hey! from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five as yes. cool fellow people do. Yes. I see you met my newest employee. At your service. Although I'm only here until Vacant Vale starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. <laughs> All right, Pablo, now what do we do with the customers again? Right, yes. <laughs> Pablo clears his throat. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? <laughs> a smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. Yes. A classic. And you? Oh, man. Oh, uh, de oh. decaf for cute. No, 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 no. 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 We yeah. need a caffeine. Yeah. Father John myth, so I guess maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't get the, I know what I get uh, is the decaf yeah. for cutie, but okay. yeah, um, yeah. And let's go to the cute, bottom. But... 
Yeah. Follow John uh, Misto, please. That might be the worst pun I've ever heard. Hey, it's pure comedy. Yeah, puns are the highest form of comedy. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> oh, I was making a joke off. Father John Misty has an album called Pure Comedy, and the drink is named after Father John Misty, so I was... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Coming right up. Paulo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. He'll get the hang of it. For as goofy of a dude as he is, kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hell yeah. I'm actually going to do training. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple hours and we're going to be go record shopping. Want to come along? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. He brings out her drinks and Amanda buries, her, buries herself in her laptop. I spend some of my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Like, this feels like us. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble okay. hanging out with other people, but Fine. for some reason, he and I can talk <laughs> and joke about okay, old buds. Okay, yes. It's weird. <laughs> I really feel comfortable around him. Yeah. I don't know. No, he, I, he is very comfortable. It's easy atmosphere. Yeah. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda, and we start walking to the record store. Have you ever been here before? No, I mean, uh, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, this should be fun then. We're gonna find, out, find you some good stuff. The walls of the oh, store yeah. are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people still buy records? It's kind of outdated at this point. There's a lot of people who will try to tell you the vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. It's cool that in, uh, in this day and age, we have just about every, sing every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. There's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in hand. I always love. That way, that's why I tried to get as many of the records that I have in physical form as possible. Remember when... We were kids and would have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs. Oh, I do remember that. I do. Made each listen really special. The mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Right? Yeah. Now you just make a playlist. I think last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Oh, I really hope he makes us a mixtape. <laughs> I look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, Anarcho Punk. N none exploitation. I have no uh, idea where you can start. Future wave. Man, it's a little overwhelming. Hey, let me help you find something my like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Oh man, I would we be vanilla. Would be vanilla. <laughs> I gotta say, vanilla straight up. But uh, <laughs> cookies, cookies and, and cream. cream. Cookies and cream is also an acceptable answer. <laughs> purple. Just purple. No, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. A yeah. little sweet. Yeah. If you only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Candles come in scents? Yes. I know. Yeah. Ooh. Mountain Spring. Um, I would say the Mountain Spring. Yeah. Power Violence Cherry Blossom. Power Violence Cherry Blossom. Alright. I'm torn between those two, actually. So uh, the Leon uh, gets Spring to Creek, or which one are you both doing? Yeah. Mountain Spring and Cherry uh, Blossom. Yeah, which one would you pick? I don't know. Violence, cherry blossom. Yeah, cherry blossom. I do like cherry blossom. All right. What's Ooh. your favorite ambient sound? I like the rain. rain. Oh, oh yeah. Star Trek Sorry. Bridge! <laughs> Star Trek Bridge! I uh, forget. <laughs> yes. Howls no. of the no. Bone no. Course. Wow. No, Star Trek Bridge ambience. It is amazing. That shit will get you That's to sleep, no problem. <laughs> That's you. I don't care. Right. Fine, fine. What's this your, is for me. This, this, this date is for K. Right. This is for me. Let Kate. me have this. All right. What's your K is in love with Matt. Spot? I am. Uh, in my backyard inside an active volcano, living off the land. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, starting a new life in the Baltics. Um, my backyard. What's your deepest, darkest fear? Oh jeez. Oh, shit. Uh... Whoa! Saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food! <laughs> that is it! No! Yeah. That is it! I'm sorry. I thought it was- I worried that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. Yeah. That is a legitimate fear, but saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food? Yes. Yeah. Or like when they, like, enjoy your movie. You too! Ah! 
I can never come back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, bottom one. <laughs> Matt thinks for a moment. Mm. Oh, I know just the thing. He runs to the <laughs> other end of the store, returns holding a record behind his back, he shows it to me. This is Dark Knight of the Soul by Danger Mouse. <laughs> this one almost didn't get released, but there are a ton of awesome collabs on it. Super underrated album. I think you'll really enjoy it. Whoa, dude, thanks for the recommendation. You're gonna have a great time with it, promise. Nice. Matt and I bring our records to cash register. A young girl with the septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one ear board in. These are little stuff today, man. No, let me be. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is pretty much me, my yeah, sister. Yeah, this is me pretty closely. Usual stuff today, Matt? Just some light pickups. He plays his three albums on the counter. Swear I'm good <laughs> at this by Diet Sig. Forever, oh, forever by, by Mystery, Mystery Skulls. Skulls and Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. Oh my god, okay. Tight. Cashier rings Matt up and hands back his albums in the bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's, Who's the, the nerd? nerd? That nerd is my buddy Joe. Joe, <laughs> this beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> anyway, Matt, is the open mic still uh, on? You know it. Are the third waves going to do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic going on? Yeah, dude. We do it every month with Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. You and Amanda should come by that night. Oh yeah. He blushes. I mean, if you're not- I mean, if you're not doing anything. Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> Will Bacon Vale be playing? If only. <laughs> I finished paying for my record and we head out to the store. He's so cute though! <laughs> Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since Vans had Chad Carperty. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important to me, not only, in, not only in that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I don't know where my next meal was coming from. All that stuff. And listening to those songs remind me of those moments in my life. Very right. Very yes. Right. You know, now that I think of it, even the pop concert Amanda made me take her to, especially me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me how young and excited Amanda was. And then, <laughs> that even reminds me of younger me going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. We would always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? <laughs> he stops and thinks for a moment. In decades. <laughs> Dude, me too. Where, where do you even get pot now? Is that, is that even what kids call it these days? Uh, no. You go talk to Mary. But I, bet I, Duh. Can, I bet I could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Uh, <laughs> Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Kids. Nah, man, I think I'm good. <laughs> it, uh, it's a little juvenile, I guess. I'm just go back to my place and listen to them. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Because I don't want to go through the adventure of finding somebody to, yeah. Matt and I walk back to the cold sack and head yeah. to his house. Oh man, we're at his house now. Yeah, he hasn't <laughs> smoked in decades, it's fine. I hope he isn't bummed about the no weed thing. We sit <laughs> and listen through the Diet Sig album that he bought, which is Catch You Sell. I look around the room again, see photos of Carmen Cita growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile with one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Oh, that's Rosa. She was Carmen Cita's mother. She died when Carmen Cita was Young. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at that age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster on the wall. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness the Dancing. Looks like they played the Sound Garden. Looks like they played the Sound Garden over a decade ago. Were you two in a band together? Yeah, that was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. 
It was hard to start, but once we started going, gaining notoriety and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow, well, that seems like a life some people only dream of. It was. It was difficult at the same time. I could have done, couldn't have done it without her by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. Long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So once she became pregnant with Carmencita, we put down roots in our favorite town to play in right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop, so she died before it opened. Aww. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. He gets up, flips the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you? Oh, that's you. Do you play? Uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Oh yeah? I fronted the hottest seven-piece ska band in the Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. <laughs> no, wait, you had a ska phase? <laughs> phase? Ska never dies. <laughs> Except oh. for ska Communist Manifesto, who broke up after the senior talent show. Oh my god. To pursue his old characters. His band was Communist Manifesto. Dude, that's so rad. <laughs> yes! He pulls out the piano bench. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh man, let's see if I still got it. Sit down Aww. at the piano. Oh no! Discovered. Yeah, anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> yeah. No, oh no! Well, you always gotta go with the anyway, uh, here's Wonderwall joke, but stick oh. with your ska roots. Yeah. Yeah. Ska. Yeah. Hey, I think I'm doing it. I, I'm playing ska. No. <laughs> Wait, was that just smoke on the water? Matt, <laughs> I've forgotten how to play. <laughs> the deep purple is always appreciated, nonetheless. <laughs> Alright, buddy, can you top that? I shouldn't. Oh, come on. Uh, no, I'm... It's been a long time. Probably hasn't played since his wife died. Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you see, like, this is really hard. Do we do we push him and, like... This has been your date, Kay. I think I this know. one has to be yours. Do you want to be the Robert in the relationship Damn that it. pushes him to do something that he doesn't want to do? I know! <laughs> but it's like, it's the thin line between being supportive and being an ass. I don't... Maybe the third date. Um... Or there might not be a third day. No, that's true. You know what? We've dropped a lot of stuff. Never too late to get back into it. If we fuck up, we fuck up. We can always... Yeah. Matt, you just sat through a butcher version of Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. How much worse can it be? He stares at the piano for a second. All oh. right. Oh, hey, yes. Yes. Um, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Because I, I know that feeling where you're just like, oh, uh, uh, no. I think he needed support. Okay. You got the space all. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He closes his eyes, runs his fingers over the keys, he breathes in a deep breath, and starts playing a melody. If I didn't know that he hadn't played a piano in a long time, I would have never guessed it. He plays a soft, sweet tune, filled with emotion. I've never heard it before. Was it one of his originals? This is so cool. He finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. How was that? That was amazing. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was killer. Are you going to pull that out for open mic night? Oh, no. no. I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. It's just... I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. Yeah. I can sense that he's getting uncomfortable at the thought of it. Okay. I wouldn't push him any further. (laughs) All right, man. But I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Thanks. Aww. We sit in silence and listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide that I need to get to bed. He walks me to my door. Night, dude. I smile. Yeah. Night. I walk inside the house. It's dark, save for the sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. I knock lightly and enter her door. She's sitting at her desk with her camera and editing photos. Hey, Amanda. She swirls around her chair to face me and slumps down. So, what's up? Dad, I'm hungry. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. No! I'm Dad. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I promised myself I would never let it come to this. 
<laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spike it down. <laughs> You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. <laughs> Man and I boil pasta and heat up sauce in the pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up the sauce while she watches. Despite my efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. <laughs> How was record collecting? Did we leave our uh, record yeah, there? It was I, great. Did no. you know that Matt used to play in a band? No way! Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight and it was amazing. He played piano for you? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he should play at open mic night that's happening at his coffee shop. But he kind of got weird about it. Yeah. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of tunes there. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. I think I only know hot cross buns, but we can work off the chord progression. <laughs> we have a nice dinner together before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. <laughs> okay. But so this person, I assume, puts houses out of oh, misery. Oh, no. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who's crying uncontrollably over the f color of the walls. They know they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? Uh. Matt's song is stuck in my head all night. Aww. Oh, well, we okay. got some emojis. Okay, or the... so first off, we didn't talk to Amanda about our date with Robert, did we? I don't think no, so. We probably don't remember most yeah, of our date yeah. with Robert, let's be honest. Yeah. Okay, woohoo! Yeah, we got Where did the gorilla come out. from? Yeah. Angry about weather? What was that? No, we didn't talk no. about, uh, I don't know. What's it oregano? Was, the it was, spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it was the weed reference. Uh, oh, I bet, yeah, I bet if we went and tried to get weed, we would have ended up with oregano. Oh. I bet that's what we would end up doing. Let's, let's be on it. <laughs> sure. All right, well, there we go. That was Matt, second day with Matt. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch more from us, click on one of the thumbnails. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest shenanigans. Be sure to click the bell for notifications, and check out the description below for a link to our Patreon page. See you next time!